All right, Rabbi Isai, a good Vach. Bor Hashem. I, I realized why I wasn't here in the base marriage for a month and a half. I, I, my sound is coming out of the screen over there, then it comes out over there, then people are knocking on the door. Unbelievable. I mamish, now I, I didn't know why. Bor Hashem. Okay. Lilu Nishmas Imi Meirasi Rusmas Mordechai. Let's make this work. If, let's start like this. The oilam that comes that was here every day after Shachris is invited for now, and we're going to try to increase that. If you weren't here every day, please speak to Shmuel Eliwat, speak to Yosef Ehrman, speak to those guys. We'll try to get you in somehow. But we ha- it has to be Beseder, and we'll talk to uh, Gershon, and we'll get everything straight, the, the, the audio here, the YouTube there. Be'ezer Hashem, I call you Beseder. Today's cheer is being sponsored by David Holder, Lilu Nishmas, Halina Tova Bas, Benish. And Ellie and Danny Fine would like to sponsor tonight's cheer in honor of the yard site of Ellie's grandmother, Adel Bas Menachem Mendel, otherwise known as Grandma. I know they wrote me something, but it was too late for me to print. Oh, man, here's a good one. Lilu Nishmas Mezedi, Aaron Ben Yisrael Tzvi, on his 85th yard site. Since Rebelli doesn't want to be bored reading about people's Zadis, I won't offer any of his Midas. Just because he died very young and his pregnant wife and four, it's not funny, but this guy's a funny guy. Just because he died very young and his pregnant wife had four sons and had to flee Poland at war's outbreak, doesn't entitle my Zadie to any honorable mention. I get it. Everyone's time is too valuable. Just shut up and send the money. Okay, I'll just shut up and do that. By his grandchildren, Beverly Fink, Dr. Alan Listhouse, Dr. Michelle Nordlich, and Dr. Cindy Dabrinsky. Neshoma should have an aliyah. But that's why the words are very small. I hope people can read it. Rabbi we're back in the Beast Medrash. Exciting stuff. We are holding Daf Chof Aleph Omer Aleph in Psachim. <clears throat> the last, the final sugya in Tumas and Tahiras, and the final sugya in the first parak of Psachim. 20 daf into Psachim. So, Omer Reb Yoisi Berbchanino. We're talking about, in case you saw me lift up the sign before, I was just stumped. I was practicing. This is the case of a vat of wine that you press the wine and it goes into a vat below. Here you have a barrel of Truma wine that sprung a leak and it's slowly dripping into the bottom vat. The bottom vat has chulen wine that is tummy. So anything that falls into the bottom is going to become tummy. It's going to be usher for everyone to drink. Now, we learned the machloik between Rabbi Shua and Rabbi Lezer, that if he has no option, he can't get a kli that's tar. He goes, he gets a kli that's tame and catches whatever he can save because he's having a monetary loss, a great monetary loss. Says the Gemara, Omer Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Chanino, Machlaikis Shenof Lepachas Mimeo Sol Chulin Tmeim. This whole machlaikis is if in the vat below, there's less than 100 times the truma. Avanof Lelemeo Chulin Tmeim. However, if it fell into 100 times the amount, there's 100 barrels down below. So it's one barrel on top and 100 below. Then the, the halacha is, Then what you do is, you just allow it to go in and become tummy. Why? Because you don't have a loss. What's the problem? The problem is that it's going to become tummy. But now that the hundred barrels are below, they'll make sure that the truma doesn't become tummy. It's going to be mevatal the truma. You don't have truma anymore. What do you do? So if this is the case, what happens? So very simple. You take out one barrel worth from the bottom one and you give it to, to the kayan. You say, that's the one that fell in. But the rest is, 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 is kosher, it's tar, it's, it's, it's fine. Not tar, it's tamei, tamei chulen. But it's chulen that, that everybody could eat. So we learned the same thing in the Bryce. You have a barrel that broke in the upper vat. And below it, you have 100 times it. So, Lazar, who really is Moida to who, as the Gemara is going to point out, 
Rabbi Yeshua, who says that it's mutter to save and make something tome, admits to Rabbi Yezer. But over here, the, Gemara, the Brisa flips it. Rabbi Yezer, Rabbi Yeshua, the one who's machmir, is, says he's mighty to Rabbi Yeshua. Shem yochel ha'atzim imenu reviz b'tahara yatzil. If he could save a reviz, as is, he goes, he can run home real quickly and grab a cup that's completely tarred, that's what he should do. Vim lav, and if he can't get there and he can't save anything, teri v'titma b'yit imenu b'yad. Let it, let it go and let it become tome. Says the Gemara, "Hai moider Rebbe Lezer Rebbe Shua, moider Rebbe Shua Rebbe Lezer Rebbe You flip the, the the names. Amar Rav Epoch, you're right. It's Rebbe Shua that admits to Rebbe Lezer. Rav Huna ben Rebbe Shua Amar Loi Lom Loi Epoch. Hachav Mai Skinant. So the Gemara says like this: We're not talking about the second case, the case that he has no option and everything is going to become tummy anyways. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the first case. The case, the first case where he could save it. He, he has a kli. He could save it. But what kind of kli are we talking about? The inside is tar, so he could save. The outside is tummy. Why? Because it came, became tummy with liquids. So it's only tummy with on liquids. In that case, where you ran home, you got a kli, but you got the wrong kli. That's the best you could do. You found a kli that the inside is tar, the outside is tame. There, Rebbe Yezer does admit to Rebbe Yeshua that you should save whatever you could save. Rebbe Yezer is the one that says you should not be metame biyodayim. In this case, he says, you know what? You have an option of saving whatever you could save because if the truma falls into the kli, it's fine. The problem is, what if it drips on the outside? That'll become tummy. So perhaps I would say the Rebbe in that case says, you should be machmer, don't try to save anything. In that case, he's masking, komash malon, that everything is good. Hadron aloch orlar ba'osor, hadron aloch orlar ba'osor, hadron aloch orlar ba'osor. Boy, say, what are you doing? I need to sing a song. Alanisim, it's a big name. We just finished Tumas and Tyrus. Viala porkom, viala gvurois, viala chuois, viala milchomoy, cheosi sola voice inu, bayo mi moim basmanaze. Viala nisi, viala porkom, viala gvurois, viala chu, viala milchomoy, cheosi sola voice inu, bayo mi moim basmanaze. Shkoyach! Now imagine if we had a bunch of people here, not just Leiby and Gershon and Avram. All right. Branu Perek, Branu Masechta. We're familiar with everything that we're going to be learning today, especially this Mishnah that we had word for word already in this Masechta. Kol shah As long so if we want, you know what, let's go back real quickly, even though the Gemara is going to bring it, it's Kedai to go to your Aleph Omer base. If you have a Gemara, maybe if you started with your Numa Sifta, you don't have it. If you have a regular Gemara, you should have it here. Yud Aleph Omer base. Mishnah. Remeir, Oymer, Oichlem Kol Chamesh, Vesorfim Betchil Hashesh. So we're talking about Erev Pesach, when you're allowed to eat Chametz, up until what point? Says Remeir, you could eat the entire fifth hour. Vesorfim Betchil Hashesh. The sixth hour that everybody agrees, that's the, that's the hour that you're, you're burning the chametz. So, midr you have to burn the chametz that hour. So, you could eat up until that point. Rabbi Yudah, Oymer, Oichlam kol arba, v'toylam kol chametz. So, Rabbi is the one that says you need a two-hour buffer. We have to add another hour. So, on the fifth hour, toylam. What does toylam mean? Don't eat, don't burn. What could you do? We learned it then. You could give it to the animal. V'sarvim t'chila sheish. That everybody agrees, sheish. And then if we skip, he says in Allah Allah, we skip all the way to the end of the Mishnah, two lines before that. Rebbe Gamli Loimer. Chule ne'cholem kol arba, v'chumah kol chomesh. V'sar v'm t'chil ha'sheh. So Rebbe Gamli is of the opinion, he, he argues, and we said he's not a machria because he sticks in something that nobody spoke about. Truma. He says, counterintuitive, that truma you could eat. And the reason is because truma you can't be mafsed to your dying, you can't just destroy it. So truma you could eat in the fifth hour, chulen you can't eat in the fifth hour. Great. 
So now let's see our Mishnah. As long as you're permitted to eat the chametz, then you're permitted to give it to your animal. Animal meaning domesticated animals like cows, sheep, goats, lechayo. Chayo can mean anything to your deer, to 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 chulda, to a cat, a dog, and to your parrot. And you could sell it to a guy. There's a lot of extra words in this mission, and the Gemara is going to go through all of them. I mean, once I know that I could give to my to the animals, to the guy, so why does it have to say I'm selling to a guy? So of course I'm allowed to benefit from it. Once the time of Isur Chometz comes, so you're not allowed to benefit from it. So Stam, just a side thing. What if you do benefit from it? What if you do sell it? I'm over. I sold it. Does the Isser go into the money and then it becomes Aser? So Taisa says that it doesn't transfer to the money. And if, I, if I'm a Kaddish woman with that money, she's Mekudosh. First Taisa's. Veloi yasig boi tanur vikirayim. So tanur vikirayim, this we had in Shabbos. This is a tanur. Basically it's a one burner oven, and it goes a little bit on a on an angle here. Kirayim, as we had in Masech the Shabbos, is the double burner. You could put two on top. Okay, not important. Hold it up. Hold it up. You want to see if it works? Hold on. Here goes Gary. Okay, but uh, like in the middle of a shear, and like people waited like for 11 minutes before we started. Okay, he wants to preset it. Preset it. It's not a problem. You good? You preset? Oh, Givaldic. I guess all the presets we had before, they, they, they got lost. If you don't, if you don't uh, use it, you lose it. Who did? Ah, we used it for the seum. I hear. Okay. Zokti Mishnah. Rabbi Yehuda, so the kids are also bahano. Also bahano means you can't brush your teeth with it. You can't sell it. Oh, and also you can't put it in your oven. No, that's also extra. If it says you can't have anah, you can't have anah. The Gemara is going to discuss. This we had, we're all familiar with this. Rabbi Yudha says the only way to get rid of chametz is by burning it. And then we had, maybe it means only a certain time. He could crumble it up and throw it into the wind. Or put it in the ocean. Says the Gemara, the word kol, kol shah, every time that it's mutter to eat. So what does it come to add? We have to be mendaik, but if you can eat it, it's also for you to eat it. You can't feed it to your animals. Lema, maslisin, loik Rabbi Yehuda. Perhaps our mission doesn't go like Rabbi Yehuda. Di Rabbi Yehuda, ha'ika chomish de'enu yoichel ha'machel. The fifth hour, as you saw in the mission before, you can eat it, but you could feed it to your animals. No, is that a contradiction to Rabbi Yehuda? This is not Rav Meir, Oimer, we just read it. The reason why I read the Mishnah is because of Rabbi Gamaliel at that. I just wanted to put it all together. Rabbi Yehuda says, you shouldn't eat. So if you don't eat, so if you read the first words of the Mishnah, if you can't eat, like Rabbi Yehuda just said, the fifth hour you don't eat, so you can't give it to your animals. So you're going to say, okay, it's from Meir. So now the Gemara is saying that the Loshan Mutter Lechel, and we actually discussed it back then, we mentioned it, maybe it was fast, but over here it's Mashma. It should say, What is Shemutter Lechel? Shemutter Lechel seems like we're talking about another type of person, another case. When it's Mutter for him, so I'm allowed to feed it to my animals. As we'll see in the Gemara, what does that mean? In fact, the Mishnah is the third cheetah in the Mishnah on Yud Aleph Omer Beis. This nan, Rebbe Gamliel, Oimer, Chulene, Cholem, Kol Arba, Truma, Kol Chomej. Over here, 
he seems like he's saying like, he's not saying like anyone, but he's talking like Rabbi Yehuda in Arba. Truma kal chamesh v'sarvim b'tchila sheish. So he says, Truma, you could eat all the way to the end because you're, it's also for you to, to destroy something. Midaraisa is also to destroy Truma. So Rabbanon would never say to destroy something that Midaraisa is also. Eat it as long as you can. V'sarvim b'tchila sheish, that's Truma. Vachi you're right. This word shemutter, that somebody else is mutter in it. I, I, if you are allowed to eat it, I am allowed to give it to my animal. It's talking about another individual. Ami Yisrael. That kain could eat his truma. So as he's eating his truma, Yisrael machachul and lebeim lechayil oifas. So then the Yisrael goes ahead and he he gives it to the to his animals. As the Gemara, Oh, this is all so easy. It's a, it's a, it's a gift. This Gemara. Coming off the Truman Tahara. So why do we say a chaya? Why do we say a behema? Why do we say oif? Oh, oh, each one has a tzrichuza. Tzricha. Titan behema. Dimeshaira. Chazile. If a cow is going to leave over chametz, let's say you give him a birthday cake, he leaves over half, you'll see it. You'll destroy it. Aval chaya. Dimeshaira. Komatzila. The derech of a chaya is to hide. A behema is, I don't know if they have the seichel for it. That's not their minog. But chayas, they pick it up with the mouth, they go up a tree, they put it somewhere. They're hiding it. I would think you can't give it to them. And if it would say chaya, okay, at least it hides. So this needs a lot of explanation. Because on the one hand, we're saying hiding is no good. Now a second letter is saying hiding, hiding is very good. At least it hides it. Because look, at the end of the day, we have two psukim. There's, there's, a, there's an Isra Bal Yatvin, that's something else. Then there's an Isra of Bal Yira, and another Isra of Bal Yimatze. You can't find it and you can't see it. So, at least it's getting rid of the problem of Bal Yira. You're not going to see it. Fine. Al Behemo, Zimnin Nimishai, Yerveli Matze, Kadadiv, Vekoya, Lebe Bal Yira, or Bal Yimatze. You'll be over on two Isra. Okay. So each one has its own plus, minus, one a pro and a con. One hides, one doesn't hide. It, it could be a, in a way, it could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. Then why do you stick in birds? Who cares about birds? You're right. There's no major tzrichusa for a bird. It's just because he said, you might as well just throw in all the animals, all the categories. If I'm allowed to benefit from it, I could also sell it to a guy. Pshita. Says the Gemara, unbelievable chiddush. No one would ever think about this chiddush. La puke mahodet mahay tano. The sanyo. This comes to exclude a tano. Bisha ma yoimrim lo yimkur odom chemsel in nochri alam ken yu dee boy shiikh lakodim pesach. You hear this? Crazy chiddush. I would think I'm not allowed to sell pizza to anyone in the world unless I know 100% that it's not going to be in this world before Pesach. Crazy. Even though it's not yours, you sold it. No, you have a chiyuv to be mevayer chometz from this world. When is this chiyuv? So this chiyuv would only be chal, according to Bisham, my 30 days before Yom Tov. So I'm not, I can't just not sell, oh, I can't sell goyim chometz forever. 30 days before, that's when your chiyuv, that's when you start learning about the Hilchas Pesach, that's when your chiyuv of of taking care of your chametz, of getting rid of it, being virated from the world. So that's, we're trying to exclude this mandomer. This mandomer says that you can't sell to a guy before Yantiv because you have to make sure that it's gone. So he's telling you, no, you could, you could even to a guy, you could sell it. So it's a big chiddush. Okay, let's just finish up the sheet. This say no. As long as I'm allowed to eat, I could sell. I don't care what happens then afterwards. Rabbi Yehuda ben Maseira Oimer Kutoch v'Cholmine Kutoch Asur Limkor Shloishim Yoyim Koydim LePesach. What's Kutoch? So in our days we have gala or pachau, whatever you want to call it, like terrible, terrible foods. But there are people that mamish love it. They, 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 you know, they, they don't have a Shabbos without it. They run around. They look for it. You're Sephardi, right? So lit, lit, uh, Ashkenazim have gefilte fish. We have a terrible, terrible food. I know, I know, it's terrible. He should have seen the face he just made. He almost fell off his chair. It's the worst thing ever. Delicious. I was once in a uh, 
I was in a course, and this guy said he could, the, the guy giving the course, Tzvika, you know, Ruben Che knows what I'm talking about. He's a big genius, Mahamas a genius. He's a pilot in the, in the Israeli Air Force. He said he could take any human being and make them stop doing any fear or anything they have. He could in one or two classes. So a guy screams out, a Sephardi guy says, I want you to stop me from drinking Coca-Cola. I, I love Coke. It's, I'm, I'm, so he says, I can't do it now. So everybody pressured him. He said, okay, fine. He said, what food do you hate the most? He said, gefilte fish. He said, okay. And in front of the whole class, he associated Coke with the gefilte fish. And I spoke to the guy like six months later. The guy cannot drink Coke. Cannot drink it. He did it in front of the whole class. He said, it's gefilte fish. It's Coke. Think this. Think that. And poof. Gefilte fish. Sfarding gefilte fish is the worst thing. Anyway. So, Rabbi Yudim said, There's a food called kutach. I don't understand how they ate it. It's moldy bread with sour milk. It's geshmak she'en kemoyu. And it's a dip. So this dip lasts forever. You have it in your, in your, you don't even put it in your refrigerator. What refrigerator? The moldier, the better, the smellier, sour, the better. Kutach. So that, don't, 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 don't sell to a guy. Why? Because that's going to last, it's a dip. So it's going to last a long time. Fine. Turning of the daf sponsored by Anonymous, Yoli Elkan from Lakewood. He's not, he's not going to listen to this shir, so it's not, a, it's not a problem. He won't have that we ever said this. And also, this guy might be listening, so I can't, I can't uh, say anything. Kalman from the five towns, Menachem Mendel ben Simcha, and the third sponsor, also by the fines, sponsored by the fine and pearl families in the Schos and Rufu Shlema. In the Elka Bas Edel. I'm assuming this name over here, the grandmother and this Edel, have a lot in common. Okay. Zok to Gemara. So you're allowed to have an offer from Pshito? Well, of course. You're allowed to eat it, you're allowed to have a no. Pshito, So what happened was, you burnt it real good. How, how, how well did you burn it? Machloik is Rishonim over here. Rashi seems to be saying that as long as you can't tell and it doesn't taste the same, that's enough. Taisus goes and says that it's not even Royal Achilas Kelev. So the Chiddush is, if I did this, Mutar Bahano Afilu So this is a big Chiddush. I take this food, I'm still out of benefit from it. After the Zman Ha'isr of Achilas Chomets, where typically you can't have an from it. This, since I did it during the time that was Mutter Ba'ano, I put it in a certain stage, then I'm allowed to have an from it. Overs, Manoi, Osur Ba'ano, Osoi. Once the time comes, the seventh hour, it's Osur Ba'ano, says the Gemara, Pshita Rashi is not Gurus, the word Pshita. Because there is Rabbi Yosef Haglili who holds that it's, it's not Osur Ba'ano. We're talking about the sixth hour. Again, a sugi that we had in this Masechta. If you make a woman in the sixth hour, in other words, in the Shoyz the Rabbanon, the time that it's only Asr to eat Chometz mid the Rabbanon, not mid the Raisa. With what were you make her with Chometz? Afidu Bechitik Udiniyasa. These are wheat that are very difficult to make chametz. They're very tough. In kiddushin, it's not kiddushin. And then we explain over there. Rashi goes into great detail. The kol amikadosh adai to the rabbanu amikadosh. You have das to do it upon. How could chachamim take away something? Midaraisa, she's mikudeshes. How could she? She's aishas ish. How could they undo aishas ish? The answer is because when you marry someone, you do it on condition that rabbanu agree to what you did. And then Mela, they have the right to undo it. Hefker, Bezdin, Hefker. They could take your, your chitim and take it away from you. It's not even yours to be a woman, etc. Says the Gemara, You cannot, once it's also about, no, you're not allowed to heat up an oven. Right? The pictures, one, one burner, two burners, pshita. What's the difference? Why are you giving me a whole, a, a different type of anah? We said already, no, I know. 
So is this Hanah any different than all Hanahs? Yes, it is. Rabbi Yudah, we just learned today, says that the only way to burn chametz is with burning it. Only the only way to get rid of chametz is by burning it. Because so I would think, no, I'm being mekayim in the mitzvah right now by burning it. But while I'm burning it, let me have an awe from it. Tyson points out, there's burning and there's also kvura. Anything that you have to bury, you can't have any benefit from it. But things that you have to burn, you could benefit from the ashes. So may I think that as you're burning it, maybe I could have enough from those ashes, kamash or not. Boy, side, now we're going into an amazing sugya. It's going to take us, if you close your eyes for a second, close your eyes. Okay, don't really close your eyes. Think to yourself, how many foods are usher to eat? How many different types of foods are usher? What could you come up with? A list of things that are usher to eat. Chometz on Pesach, what else? So here, I compiled a little list here. It's not all, it's not everything, but it's a lot of the things we're going to be discussing in the next few days. Probably two, two days. We're going to go through Chometz and Pesach, the Isra of eating and how that affects the Isra Hana. Nevela, here, Gary, you could zoom in over here. Nevela is any animal that drops dead without shechita, even a non-kosher animal. Trefa is an animal that has some sort of serious uh, defect that he's going to die within 12 months. It's a trefa. Gidanasha, we know the Gidanasha, it's a, a sinew that's also to eat. Aver Menachai, a piece from a live animal. Shoraniskal, that's an animal that, that was, um, how do you say in English, was destined to die through Bezdin because it killed someone. Arla, fruit within the first three years. Truma, for a Yisrael, cannot eat it. A Nazar, can't drink wine. Chadash! <laughs> According to the, the Litvaks, this is a, it's a Deiraisa. Shratzim, no, I'm just kidding. The, the Hasidim also agree, but they say they have a terim. That's the guy sent back. That the, it's motor. It's not motor with the soymich on the bach, and it became a minog to be, to be over on that uh, Isidar Raisa. Shratzim, Shratzim, Shmona Shratzim. Chulim Ba'azara is if you take an animal and you want to save money and you go to the Kayin and the Beis Amigdash and he shechs it for you and then you tell him the truth. You had no intention to bring your carbon, you just wanted to get a freebie. And Chalev. Those are the ones I found. There's more. There's, uh, there's also Me'ave uh, Dezara. There's the, the different things. Fine. Zog Gemara. Omar Chizkiya. Minayin l'chometz b'pesach shah. It's all fun and games. I'm not chas I'm not chapping chasidim. Minayin l'chometz b'pesach shah also b'hano. So how do we, where does it say in the Torah anywhere? It says you're not allowed to eat chometz. Where does it say you can't benefit from it? You can't have any hanah from it. Shinemar loy ye ochel chometz. Lo yeh boy heter achilo. This is what it says in the Pasuk, in red. V'loy ye ochel. What the, the Torah should have said, lo yoichal. Isn't it better in the parentheses? Lo yoichal. Lo yeh It shouldn't be eaten. That's not how you speak. You say, don't eat. I'm telling you, I'm giving you a commandment. Don't eat. Lo yoichal. Lo yeh. It shouldn't be eaten. So what does that mean? It comes to give us a drasha. Lo by heter achilo. Look at Rashi for a second. You know what, before I did Rashi, I just want to tell you that the, the way I grew up, I grew up weird, I, I'm asking. That's not the regular minig, but my wife's family is also weird. It's, it's half a, I grew up, we used to go on a Cholomite trip with my mom, and we used to get there, like at, one, like at one o'clock, we used to come roll around, and I was like, I started saying I'm hungry. No, no, shh. Kids are two, three o'clock. It's like, I'm starving. She's like, but I didn't bring any food. So, so what do we do? You hold it in until supper, whatever. We'll, we'll buy candy. What's the problem? A potato chip. And I get married to my wife. And we go on our first trip. As the car is rolling out of the driveway, I'm not exaggerating, sandwiches start flying everywhere. Who wants a sandwich? We didn't go. We didn't even leave the driveway. They're eating. They're already eating. You're on a plane. This and, and, and steaks and zachin and, and unbelievable. What's going on here? 
So look at what Rashi says here. Look at Rashi. It's like smacking in the middle of the page. Most Hanois eventually end up with Achila. This is my Shver loves this Rashi. Anytime. You want to have a good time? We're going to go to a restaurant. Let's schmooze over food. It's all food. Everything at the end of the day. So that's what, don't cause. You're going to sell this to the guy, not this one, whatever, the other one. You're going to sell it to the guy. You know what's going to happen with the money? It's going to, it's going to turn up into food at the end. What are you going to do with the money? You're going to buy a sandwich. That's what you're going to do. You're going to make a, a big business deal, you sell it to the guy, and eventually it's going to end up food. Don't cause it to be food in the future. Says the Gemara, Lo yeh boi heter achila. Time of the cause of Rachmana, Lo yeh achil chametz. That's because the Torah said it in a funny way, in an interesting way, that I could make the yukim. Haloi cause of lo yeh achil. And if it, it didn't say that, Hava minu isa achila mashma, isr hano lo yeh mashma. So it's very, very important to remember these lines right here because this is going to take us into the next sugya on Dav Chav Beis. The whole Dav Chav Beis is about this. That what? That if the Torah doesn't say straight out, that you're not allowed to have a no, you're allowed to have a no. It's because the Torah said lo ye achel instead of lo yoichal, so I know it's also bano. What if the Torah doesn't say lo yoichal? Then it's multi bano. Well, plague the Rebbe So this is the Rebbe that you have to remember, very, very important. What does Rebbe Avoh say? The Rebbe Avoh, kol mokim shenemar lo yoichal, lo yisoichal, lo yisoichlu. In other words, if this Pasuk would have said this, lo yoichal, it would also be Yisr Hano. I don't need Lo Yoichal to tell me Yisr Hano according to Rebavo. Even Lo Yoichal is Yisr Hano. That's what he says. Anytime it says these three Lashonas, Lo Yoichal, that's one of them, the first one. Lo Yisoichal, Lo Yisoichlu. Echad Yisr Achilo, Vechad Yisr Hano, Mashma. That's the end of the story. That's what he says. Anywhere it says in the Torah, anything about don't eat, it means Yisr Hano. Ache Yifre, Lucha Kosov. Until, unless the Torah says straight out, you're allowed to have Ano, you automatically have to assume there's no Ano. This Anya. Oh, we see from Nevela, says Rebavo. Why did the Torah go out of its way and say, oh, have Ano from it? Do this, do that, sell it, do whatever you want. Why? Because otherwise it's also Ano. The Torah goes out of the way. It says, listen, in this case, only in this case, Nevelo, you're allowed to have a no. This Anya, Lo Yisoich Lu Kol Nevelo, La Gershe B'Sharecha Tetneno, V'Acholo, Oi, Mechor, L'Nochri. So you look at the Pasuk, you have the beginning of the Pasuk, okay, don't eat a Nevelo, okay? And then it says, what do you do with the Nevelo? You have a cow. You're about to sell it for $3,000. I don't know, but from Weissfish, I don't know how much it costs. Whatever it costs, right? Two, three thousand dollars, you mask him, something like that. Berech. Less? Less than a thousand dollars? No. Berech a thousand dollars. Okay. So what do you do? Nebuch, it dropped dead. Drops dead. My camera? Okay. My camera's off. So. What do I do with it? It's just wrapped dead. I could give it to guy, even guy, and we learned the whole sugi, they don't really like the velas. But what do I do with it? Maybe I could sell it for, for animal food. So, so the Torah says, Leger asher b'shur. Okay, so what's a ger? A ger is somebody who accepts upon himself sheva mitzvah b'nei noyach, but obviously he's eating the You could give it to him because he eats the He does everything, but he, he's not over that with the zara. Seven mitzvahs b'nei noyach. So it says in the Pasuk, give it to the ger. Give him a gift. Do I have this? Yeah. I mean, you can look in the Gemara, or you can look over here if you want. Either you give the ger a matano, or sell it to the guy. So this is heter hana. I'm allowed to benefit from this dead nevela. I give it, either I give it to the ger or sell it to a guy. 
By the way, if you were with us for the last few years, we had these sugis word for word. Mamish Chazor and what we had in different Masechtas, Chulin, I forgot to look it up, but it's very Avedizara, a lot of Avedizara. From this pasuk, I only know one thing. I know that I could give it to the to the ger to the to the, the guy that just uh, accepted upon himself mitzvahs, or I could tell it to a guy. How do I know I could sell it to the new convert? It goes together. We read this in one shot. And how do I know that I could just give it to a guy? Give him, he works for me. I want to give him a gift. Okay, it's all one. So, Rebbe Vo learns from here that the Torah is telling us there's a heter of Anna. Where? Only in Nevelo. In Nevelo, the Torah goes through the trouble of telling you what you can do with it. I can have Anna from it, but only in Nevelo. But anywhere else in the Torah, the Torah says, don't eat. I'm not allowed to have Anna from it. Not true. It's exactly like you read it. You can only give it as a gift. And you can only sell it to a guy. You can't give him a gift. If you give a gift to the ger, you can't sell it to him. You, give, you sell it to the guy, you can't give it to him. My time to review though. Oh, look at this green eye over here. It, does, it shouldn't be here. This stop, it's a hard stop. Oy, another case to tell us there's two options. Option number one is give it to the ger. Oy, if you want another option, sell it to the guy. So Remeir says, what comes first? You have a mitzvah to give it to the ger. Rather than selling it to a guy, the Rishonim discussed this. That's if it doesn't have any value. But they say, Avada, you could actually sell it. There's a Taisirash, the different Rishonim. You could, if you want, you could sell it to the, to the Ger and say, You're not Mechuyiv to give. If the, thing, the dead thing is worth $500, will you Mechuyiv to give it away for free? Not Mechuyiv to give it away for free. But it comes first. Deal with the Ger first, however you want to deal with it. Make sure that he has what to eat. This is common sense, it's logic. Unbelievable. Says the Gemara, you have a chiyuv. It's a mitzvah to sustain him, to make sure that he's alive and well. So Mamela, yes, you have to give the ger before you sell to the guy. So I was thinking, as I was reading this, as Mamish hit me. This ger, he eats Nevelas. So I was just picturing to myself, this big guy with a bunch of tattoos, working on his car, listening to this Meshuggah music, eating a hamburger uh, from McDonald's, and you have to go support him. You have to give him Zdaka. And then I realized that the chesed that Klai Yisrael does to all denominations, I mean denominations within Klai Yisrael, you think about it, Lubavitch, if you go to any place in the world, they don't care if you're a, a big fan of Rav Shach or not or whatever, they take care of you. Satmer, the chesed that Satmer does, my neighbor is just telling me, my neighbor that lives in my building, telling me that his wife has Yanamachla and they're looking for the special treatment. Darcy CS, the Satmar organization in America, no problem. In, in a few minutes, came up with thousands of dollars so she could have the special treatment. When I, I, I keep on saying this, but it, it, Mamish, it made a tremendous rush on me. We went, this has to do with my, with my family. We went to, uh, <clears throat> when my mother had, um, had surgery in Sloan Kettering, it was an eight-hour surgery. So how does the fancy Mishpacha show up to Sloan Kettering for eight-hour surgery? 
with nothing, zero, not a single sandwich garnished. Why? There's a machine there, we'll figure it out. We're sitting there, starving, you can't even imagine, thinking about the surgery, who knows what's going to happen. And then, all of a sudden, these Satmar ladies show up with bags. You can't imagine the amount of food that they brought in. Milchiks and fleshiks. You want calzone, pizza, steak, Chinese, whatever you can imagine, they come in. Just bring in the food. The chesed, every... And that was one day. They didn't know we were there. Every day, these people come in with food to give. The chesed, for who? For litvaks, for people that did not even part... Because when it comes to chesed, there's no boundaries. That's how Klai Yisrael is. The, I could go on and on and on. The Satmar guys to come to switch the linen. Nobody wants to touch it. Soiled linen. I can't even go into it. Come in without gloves, nothing. Switch. Not that. Make everything fresh. Goodbye. The, the ches is unbelievable. That's what the Torah tells us. At the to be give and sustain even this guy that just accepted upon himself seven mitzvahs. Seven mitzvahs. Zehu. Unbelievable. According to Rameir who says that it doesn't matter if a ger or a guy, you could sell to the ger and you could give a gift to the guy. So the Torah says, that you're allowed to do it by nevela. Okay, and that's what we said. Smash from the from nevela. It's only a one-time deal by nevela that you're allowed to have an Other isurim, it's also el Rabbi Yehuda d'Amar l'Dvarim Kichsava on Huda also. But according to Rabbi Yehuda, who says that the the pasuk is just coming to tell us the water. It's very important for the Torah to tell us the water. It's not to say that it's a special halach nevela. It's a special order nevela. You give it to the ger and sell it to the guy. That's it. <clears throat> so where does he know this idea? So we have a pasuk by trefa. So now we, we, we're discussing the vela. Now we're talking about a trefa, trefa an animal. Let's say it has a hole in its heart. Whatever the trefa is, it says in the pasuk, la kelev tashlichun oisoi. You're allowed to have an offer from it. You're allowed to benefit from it. You're allowed to give it to the dog. Only this trefa are you permitted to give to the dog. Top of chav bezim and aleph. However, other isurim, anything else on this list, this giant list. Where was that list? This whole list. You could learn from a diuk. Oisoy, dafka this green guy, this trefa, but everything else you now have an awe. Have a good tevach, a gezunt tevach, a mazdik tevach, a freilch and Chanukah, and Beis Hashem will see you here in less than what, eleven hours? Mashu kaza. A good tevach. Yeah. Oh, how's that? I apologize. What time is it? Woo. Eight thirty an hour. I don't hear them so well. It was worth waiting for. Shkoyach, <laughs> shkoyach. You want to mute that and I'll put it on over here? Or okay, hold on. I'll mute me. Oh, that's better. Okay. I forgot. Yeah, I got to do it. That's why. That's why I put it in front of me last time. Like this. The problem is the problem is that this block it gets blocked from the camera. What about the gala? Shmuel, what's up, Shmuel? You still, you still on? I like herring, but good. I like, I like Shabbos. 
Listen, five ish. My, I told my, my wife says, what kind of herring do you like? Last week. I said, I like the oinik, the oinik Shabbos type. So she goes to the store and she says, uh, my husband wants oinik Shabbos. So the guy tells her, no, the store used to be called something Shabbos, oinik something, but now it's a different name. We don't have that. It's a different name. He didn't even know what oinik Shabbos was. What's the double sound they hear? Ah. Yeshua, thanks for showing up here tonight. Who said, who said that? Who said the regards from Shmuel Brazil? Are you able to mute people? Dovin Reich. Hold on. Gedvach Akiva. Gedvach Shmuli. Abu Shmuli. Shmuli Weissfish. Gedvach. Gedvach. You too. Gershon, that was a disaster today. Mamish, what I was so scared of. <laughs>